Alright guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to install and configure a Flysky radio for a Arma Nero, either the Big Rock or also the Phazen. Uh, it has to be a hacked Flysky radio. Well, it doesn't have to be, but if you want to use your diff brain functions, it'll have to be hacked. So, the main reason I'm doing this is because I just like having one radio. Uh, I don't like having four trucks and four different radios. Um, this Flysky radio is great, it was cheap, it works good, you can do a bunch of stuff. I made a video on it talking about all the things I like, maybe I'll link it, but yeah, mainly because it's a cheap radio if you maybe received a used model without a receiver and transmitter, or maybe you already have a bunch of remotes and you want to cut it down to less remotes or whatever um the only other advantage uh the fly sky has over the stock radio is you can have up to eight channels so we'll be using five for the stock configuration and that'll enable you to individually control any diff you want you can lock just the front just the back just the center or any combination which you can almost do with the stock diff brain uh, I think the only one you can't do is front locked only. But with this, you can you have complete control over diffs for whatever you want. And also, if you use an 8-channel receiver, you have 3 extra channels. I'll be using a 6-channel receiver. You'll see later why. But So, if you put a 6-channel in, you'll have an extra channel maybe for a light a light system or a light bar on top or if you have an ESS1 you can hook up the extra channel for the horn or whatever that's you can you can put whatever you want so I'm gonna go ahead and put the six channel receiver in there's also a three channel receiver you can use which um, wouldn't let you use the diff brain at all but it would let you use throttle and steering obviously and you'd have one spare channel for whatever you want I'll be putting in the 6th channel, so I'll just go do that now, and then we'll get back to it. So, Flysky 6th channel receiver fits perfectly in the receiver box. And I just took the steering up to the 1st channel, throttle to the 2nd channel, center diff to the 3rd, front diff to the 4th, rear diff to the 5th. So just really quick, what I did here, I just tossed the cap on, and the antenna wire is pretty skinny, so I didn't even notch a groove out. I just kind of let it sit on the gasket. It's probably getting pinched a little bit, but it hasn't been cut yet. I just didn't fully torque down the front two. I probably should have cut a notch out. Uh, and then the six-channel antenna or receiver has this antenna that has some heat shrink on it, so I just tucked it under this piece here, right up against the uh, power wires. I mean. It's probably not great, there'll be interference in something, but I've driven it like this a long ways away and it still works fine, so I think that'll be fine. So yeah, you just run all the stock wires in there like usual, bypassing the diff brain directly to the receiver like I just showed. Antenna comes on this side, tucks under, caps back on, everything fits. If you use the 8 channel, you'll probably not fit. I haven't tried it. You might have to figure out some sort of custom box or something, but 6 channel works perfect and you still get that one extra channel for whatever you want. Okay, so now that we got the uh, physical install done, I guess, plugged in the receiver, I'll show you how to set it up to run your diff locks, your center diff lock and your front and rear diff locks. Uh, this took some trial and error to find out the right endpoints so I wasn't buzzing. And uh, I think I had to reverse. We'll see as we go through the menus here. But normally the diff brain takes care of all that since we're bypassing it. We just had to do it ourselves. So I figured it out for you so you don't have to. These, I'll just put a little forewarning here. These settings worked for me. Uh, I've driven it for a few months, maybe six weeks. And I haven't had any problems with servos burning out or anything. If you if you turn it on and you switch them back and forth and you're in a really quiet place, if it is wrong, you can hear the servo buzzing. So maybe just check that before you go over ripping. But, okay, so first things first, I uh, 
Well, you want to start, you want to go to a fresh model profile. Actually, very first things first, I have this, if this is your first time with a hacked Flash Guy radio, you'll have to do this. Uh, and then after that for future models you won't, but this, in the main menu, just hold down the button. Scroll over to, oh yes, scroll over to C. And that's like the default number of channels that you'll be using. I always set it to eight, because uh, then you can use the eight channel receiver. I have those on my two summits. You might have seen some of my other videos, but if you set it to eight channels, uh, it still works with the six and three channel one. So you might as well set it to eight and then it'll use up to eight, uh, but obviously limited by your receiver. So first things first, do that. Go to a new model. I've already set this one up, so I just called it big. You can only use three letters. You can do a phase in you can do FAZ or Nero any whatever do whatever you want um, and then first things first you'll have to okay so this is how I have it hooked up you saw early in the video first channel steering second channels throttle third channels center diff fourth channels rear diff fifth channels front diff I think Anyways, for the steering, it's normal. Oh, cow. The second channel, which is the throttle, I had to reverse. That might not be the case for you. If you're driving in reverse, when you pull the trigger, just you can swap it in this reverse menu here. And the third, fourth, and fifth channels also had to be reversed. They didn't have to be, but I'll show you why I did in the future. So. The first and second channel, it's kind of up to you. I had to reverse my throttle. The diff lock channels, three, four, five, had to be reversed. So make sure that's reading right. And then go to the endpoint setting. This is the important one. Uh, this is just for my what worked for me for endpoints for steering. If you have a different servo or whatever, you can change that yourself. Throttle, I just left 100 to 100. So this is the, this is important. The third channel with the arrow facing to the left, which you can change with the steering wheel. The third channel, set it to 50% endpoint on left forward and 25% on right back. And actually, oops. That is the same I just switched my encoder, so I'm all messed up. That is the same for three, four, and five. They're all 50% left and 25% right, which makes sense because they all use the same servo and the same, um, that ring is the same on every everything. So these should be the magic numbers if you ever use these diffs. Uh, Nero, Big Rock, Phazen should be the same thing. Now the reason Originally, when I first did this, I had left forward at 25 and right back at 50. But then I swapped these endpoints and reversed them because now I have them set up on these. Well, this one pushed to lock the center diff, the front, or well, I guess front if you're looking at it like this. This top switch I have for the front diff. And this rear switch I have for the rear diff, because that just kind of makes sense. Uh, you push it forward to lock it and pull it back to unlock. So if you're ever unsure if you're locked or unlocked, if you want to unlock everything, just click back a few times on both these switches. You shouldn't be unlocked, except for the center diff. So I'll show you why I configured it like this. If you push forward, it goes to 100, which is locked. If you push backward, it goes to negative 100, which is unlocked. I'll show you how to set that up next, by the way. So I just figured if you're ever unsure, you can look. The positive 100 is locked, negative is unlocked. And then this third button is not a, uh, like these are rockers. You can push them back and forth. This is just a button. So it's same. If you're ever unsure, if your center diff is locked, you just push it. And you say, okay, now we're unlocked, positive 100, now we are locked. So I just like having the positive 100 as locked, 
if you prefer negative 100 to be locked just for indication on here you'll leave the channel 345 normal and you'll have to swap those endpoints around okay so that's that i'll show you how i set up these like these two switches for the diffs and this switch for the center diff okay so you push once to get into this menu here scroll over to reverse do a long press and here is where the magic happens so your uh, first and second channel are already set up to the trigger and steering wheel default if you scroll over to C which is this button here the channel 3 so scroll over to the capital C press once scroll until you find channel 3 because that's what we wanted that button to control press again just leave mo0 re0 0, 0 uh, leave this as off and then that's it you're done for that and then scroll over until you find this capital D it should be right behind the or the small D which is right beside the capital C channel 4 uh, the small D refers to this DR slider so same thing go over to channel 4 uh, BNL is what you want then 200 is what you want here uh, that's essential if you have, if you well if you if you scroll down to 100 it'll go to locked halfway in between and then unlocked so you don't want that make sure it's at 200 press the button press the button press the button there you're done and then for the fifth channel Scroll over to the three, which is the this bottom slider here, and we'll do the same thing. Channel five, BNL, 200, RE0, OR0, and then you're done. If you want to switch those, just set this three to channel four. Hold on here. Set this three to channel four and the C. Oh, sorry. Three to channel four and the D to channel five. Uh, if you want to change it up, you'll have to download the manual. This uses PSX firmware. So you could download the manual for that. Um, I think I already did this before. I'm just re-showing it for the purposes of the video, but that should be all you have to do. You just have to map these buttons, set up those settings, set the endpoints, and reverse. And then you should be able to control your diff locks individually via these three buttons. And you can use a flyscat receiver, uh, add something in if you want. I think if you look at my summit video, I'll put a little link or whatever. I showed how I set up a bunch of things like four wheel steering and then a light bar and a horn for an ESS one. So the settings will be similar to that. But this, how I've shown here, will work with a stock Big Rock, Nero, or Phazen, and it gives you an extra channel if you ever want. So that should be it. Just make sure before you go out, like I said, go to somewhere quiet, test these settings. Uh, you might have to move the truck a little bit just to let the locking ring engage, but test and in like unlock all three, drive it forward back a bit, make sure nothing's buzzing. Lock all three, drive it forward back, make sure nothing's buzzing. Uh, if it is, you might have to adjust the endpoints a little bit or just play around and tinker. But that should do it for today.